And then in the quarterfinal against number six seeds, Chai Biao and Zhang Ya Wen. So two seeded pairs already disposed of by this young Chinese combination. Has landed in Li Yongdae and Li Ho Jung. Well, they've won all of their matches like their opponents in two straight games, but they haven't played against a seeded pair so far. Second round match against Mohamed Ravsif Abdul Latif and Woon Kei Wee of Malaysia. That was quite tough 21 19, 22 20. But yesterday in their quarterfinal against teammates Kim Ji Jung and Yon Hee Won, they won 21 9, 21 9 in just 19 minutes. But the Olympic champions made a great start here 4 1. least experienced player on court, Tao Jiaming. Look how far back Li Yongdae is in his defensive stance. He was practically on that back line. Oh, coaches will tell you to stand your ground while you're defending. Well, she may have made the error, but I can assure you when such a tall player comes forward to the net and starts threatening as an opponent, you do think twice about trying to play that shot again. I think the next time she won't make the error. Push wide. That's super. And that is why, as an opponent, you fear playing against Li Ho Jung. She's got a long, long reach of that racket. And she always seems to be in the right place at the right time. I suppose if she's got one weakness, I would say it's defensively. She tends to be too committed one side or the other. Committed on the backhand defence and therefore vulnerable down the forehand side or she's way committed forehand. Stick it down her backhand side and she's very vulnerable. Well worked rally though by the Koreans. Difficult to believe that Lee Yong Day is only 20 years of age. Three gold medals at the World Junior Championships in 2005. The team competition, men's doubles and mixed doubles as well. That's a lovely serve from Margin. Yeah, really set up the rally. I have to say, I think when Margin was playing in the All England with Zheng Bo, Gao Ling's former mixed doubles partner, and I think Zheng Bo was a little bit harsh on her. And Margin actually left the court in floods of tears. Well, they've narrowed the gap to just one point. And now they're level. Four straight points to the Chinese combination. This is a new pairing as far as the Chinese are concerned. And Li Yong. Li Dong Su. Yeah, it was wide. Oh, that was a mile wide. Yeah, well, the umpire overruling, and thank goodness for that. Hope we can see that again. Here we go. Yeah, 
clearly out. Line judge calling it in, umpire overruling, which the umpire is allowed to do if there's been a clear error made on the line call. Justice prevailed. No serve is short of the mark. Uh, great anticipation and positive play at the front of the court from Margin. Look at that interception and again. A rally. This is brilliant. A couple of defensive shots there. I didn't think they'd get them back. But in the end, the change of pace. Look how deep they are in defensive stance. No wonder they were vulnerable to the drop shot. The little change of pace. 10-9. Opening game. And the error from Tao Xiaoming. And it is the Koreans that have a two point advantage at the mid game interval. Well, both. Coaches, sets of coaches working pretty hard on tactical advice. Now the poster for the Asian Badminton Championships, which can be seen all over this wonderful city of Suwon. Nine. Yeah, slight hesitation, I think, on the return of serve. Maybe thoughts momentarily about leaving it. That's clever. Oh, it's a great rally. Indecision in the end, costing Tao Jiaming dear. Realises it's going to fall in, tries to play it by, but then it was far too late. Just long. We're seeing some excellent rallies now. Margin intercepting but pushing it along of that back line, but she's right to try and intercept. Mixed doubles is about setting up the rally for the player at the net, which is usually the woman to finish off the rally. The defensive play is just so good nowadays. Can't rely on winning the rally by just smashing on the woman. That just doesn't happen nowadays. Oh. oh, this is brilliant. Absolute magic. Fantastic rally. There was a backhand smash early on in that rally from Lee Yong Day. Oh, you generated the power, I'm not quite sure. But then the attacking play turned in favour of the Chinese. Yeah. 
Oh, yes. Well, Lee Ho Jung, when she played the defensive shot, immediately moved forward to the net, which turned the momentum. In she goes. That's perfect. Lovely placements. Lovely tactical awareness. Realising what was going to happen. But as soon as she was threatening at the net, the advantage was back with the Koreans. And it's a five-point advantage. Oh, just missed it. I was about to say, my goodness, the court coverage was moving from side to side. But our final shot just wide of the mark. She really is so dominant at the front of the court. One meter eighty-one is Lee Ho Jung. It's just under six foot, certainly more than five eleven. Oh, that's clever! Very clever. First of all, the half smash from Tao Jiaming. And their margin with the delicate little block over the net. Well, the Koreans still in command, still in the lead. And it's a comfortable lead at this stage in a game. But it can be whittled away very quickly. Oh, that's a wonderful angle. Greeted by absolute silence from the crowd. The fans here obviously have just assumed that the Olympic champions would storm their way through to this title. That's not how sport works. Every rally, every point, every match, every game has to be earned, has to be worked for. Mm, a gasp of disbelief from the fans. The margin has been reduced to just one point. 15-16. Koreans take their time. A little word of encouragement to each other. This is a big, big point. And Lee Yong Day just asked the umpire if he couldn't tell down. I'm surprised he was allowed to do that, in all honesty. The momentum was with his opponents. Fifteen, sixteen, opening game. Good flick serve. Oh, it's been called a fault being called a fault by the service judge racket not pointing in a downward direction let's have a look at that mm, it was quite flat now yeah, she came in at the right moment again did Lee Ho Jun This is a good rally. Oh. oh, tremendous! And now the crowd chant their approval. Incredible defence from both pairs. Both pairs, both women looking for supremacy at the net. This really is terrific mixed doubles. Oh, 
right idea. Just trying to play the little block. Execution not to match. Oh, what a backhand! An even better net shot from Lee Ho Jung. Too wise to be fooled by that. Lee Ho Jung kept calm and just placed the shuttle into the open space. Well set up rally. Leong Day smashing in the right place. Channel attack. Hits down the centre. Knows that that's going to narrow the angle of reply and get Li Ho Jong involved. And now it's four game points. Only needed the one. The Olympic champions, Lee Yong Day and Lee Ho Jung, take the opening game 21 16. This is the final rally. The change of pace, the drop shot, then the power play. And the opening game in favour of the number one seeds 21 16. Lee Yong Day, twice an Olympic silver medalist in the men's doubles with Yu Yong Sung, just offering advice to Lee Yong Day and Lee Ho Jung. But he must be pretty happy with their performance so far. This is a good quality Chinese pair. Ma Jin, 20 years of age. Mixed doubles pair of the future. That's for certain the Chinese. Youngsters with huge talent and huge potential. So second game, having taken the first 21-16, the Olympic champions. And I wonder if the Chinese are going to try and up the pace a little. Pace of movement, not necessarily pace of shot. Getting to the shuttle early, trying to involve the net player. Certainly, if I'd been coaching them, that's what I would try and do. I'd say you've got to get Li Ho Jung off the net position. Easier said than done, of course. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say, what a return of serve. But the line judge has called it wide. Let's have a look at that. Oof, that was close. That's great defence. And this is real commitment because the leap there from Lee Yong Day, this man from the base position just leapt out of his side. No step first, that huge effort to keep the shuttle going down, keep on the attack. 
good return of serve. Yes, very, very nice. Watched her last year, the end of last year, margin, and then I watched her at the beginning of the year, certainly in Europe, All England and Swiss Open. Of course, she won the Swiss Open semi-finalist at the All England with Zheng Bo, and I was very, very impressed with her instinctive play. Instinctively seemed to be in the right place at the right time. Racket head control addresses the shuttle so early, turns the racket head at the last moment to just guide it into that open space. Makes it look so easy and technically it's so difficult. Yeah, and again. This is a joy to watch. A real pleasure. The Olympic champions last few rallies just showing why they are the Olympic champions. Uh, well left. Lee Yong Day could have perhaps played that decided to leave it and it was a wise judgment it's the first one could have played it no seven three second game China is trying to isolate Li Huajun. Yeah, but that doesn't work either. The poster boy of Korean badminton, and he's on court at the moment, and he's playing superbly well. I can understand the Chinese pair's tactics of trying to get Li Hu Jung to the back of the court, but she's so physically strong. And that gives Li Yong Day the freedom to come forward and finish off the rally. And they're really beginning to impose their dominance on the match, I feel. And I think if the Chinese don't halt that progression right now, then they're going to be in serious trouble because the Koreans thrive on confidence and being in front. Well, they gifted that and it's absolutely imperative if the Chinese want to come back. They've got to start making some more points right now. Get too far behind and it'll just be too difficult. really is all about who can get on the attack, who's hitting the shuttle down and maintaining that. Absolutely vital in doubles. Singles is more about outmaneuvering your opponent around the court, using all four corners, clears to the back, drop shots, pulling them in. You have to force the error and you have to force it by attacking play. Yeah, it was indecision on the return of serve. Yeah, clipping the shuttle. Li Hu Jung as it went past her. Well, Chinese have done exactly as I said they had to do. They really needed to do it. And back to within a point of their opponents. 
Fleming being five points adrift just a moment ago. Uh, double hit, shuffle touching margins, racket, way through to her partner. Despite as far as the Olympic champions are concerned. Badminton at its best. Terrific rally. The attacking play, the momentum switching from one side to the other. First, the Koreans had the advantage, and then the Chinese. And in the end, it was the change of pace from the Chinese combination that did the damage. This really is mixed doubles of the very, very highest quality. Once again, the margin is just one solitary point. A little confusion with the Chinese as to who's supposed to be serving. Should be Tao Jiaming. Uh, so sharp onto that cross-court lift. Perhaps wrong choice of shot from Li Ho Jung. And the Chinese are back level. to be more urgency in the rally from this man. Oh, superb. Tactically perfect. Took on Lee Yong Day at the net, did margin. Wasn't afraid of him. And then the little hold and flick over his head. Great courage to play that shot. Oh, it's long of the back line. And it's the Chinese pair who have the narrowest of possible margins at the mid-game interval. Li Ho Jung absolutely disgusted at herself. There was a huge open space. All she had to do was drive the shuttle down that forehand side and not hit long and it would have been a winner. There's Li Dong Su. Great worker on court he was. So just the one point advantage, but psychologically, that's always important to the badminton players. 11-10, second game. Yeah. She has got a lot of courage, Margin. 
She's not been intimidated at all, standing her ground. And Lee Young Day, in a way, can't believe it. The audacity. And once again, the brilliance of the Chinese greeted with silence from the crowd here in Suwon. Yeah, no wonder he's looking concerned now. They were 8-3 up, a five-point advantage. And now they find themselves down, but that moment of inspiration perhaps will be enough to get them back on course. push wide yeah and it's interesting to me I think that Ma Jin has actually got psychological dominance over Lee Ho Jung despite being much much shorter because when Ma Jin came to the net there she played a net shot what did Lee do she pushed it deep pushed it out but she was afraid to take her opponent on so much mixed doubles you can tell who's dominating because of the the woman's involvement at the front of the court okay that was a bit lucky the net court yeah good return of serve The lift was short, and that was the lady who hit the winning smash. Now uh, she's only hit that from half court area. Goodness. Oh, unbelievable. What a rally. This semi final is just getting better and better. Uh, she wasn't expecting the drop shot, total commitment, so diving headlong in an effort to retrieve the shuttle. But it only delayed the inevitable. Well, obviously the crowd would desperately like to see this done and dusted in two straight games, but as a neutral, I'd love to see a decider. This is just terrific badminton. And the Chinese pair, unseeded, are just four points of, away from achieving a deciding game. But don't write off the Olympic champions yet. Oh, she's pushed it wide. I'm looking straight down that line from my commentary position. That was a good call by the line judge. Who's got the nerve? These are the big points, the pressure points. So who wins these that determine the outcome? Oh, he's broken the strings of his racket. What a time for that to happen. That's why he made the error. Strings broke as he tried to hit the winning smash and you immediately turned and looked at his racket. Yeah. Well, that's why it broke because 
didn't hit it in the sweet spot in the center of the racket. You can see the string's broken at the side. So, margin reduced to just one point again. This is a thrilling match. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Leong Day hasn't really made an impression for the last few rallies. Suddenly steps up to the mark. And it's all level. 17 all. Oh, what a backhand. That is tremendous. Tao Xiaoming. Generated so much power. Uh, if you're going to lift to the back of the court, he's got to be high enough to get over the tall lady, Li Ho Jung. Clever placement of the smash. Certainly wasn't the power that defeated Tao Jiaming. Wow, well, aim towards his right shoulder. Perfect placement. Two points away now for the Olympic champions from a place in the final. Now just the one. Three straight points have brought them two match points. And they've done it the first time of asking. And that really was a quality mixed doubles semi-final. Badminton at its best. Tactically, very intriguing. Technically, all four players so competent. And it produced two very close games, as you can see. 21-16, 21-18. The number one seeds, the Olympic champions, Lee Yongdae and Lee Hong Jung, defeat Tao and Mark.